What's up, people? What they do, beautiful people? Okay, it's just money raining, like for real. But what they do, beautiful people? It's your girl, Dalia Chamel. And today, if you haven't already guessed, we about to talk about money. That guac, that skrilla, that fetty, that cheese, them pesos, the narrows, and all of the above and whatever language you can say it in. We about to talk about money. And you know what's so important about money? Us, this community, this chain, chain, bang, bang, gang. We about to have our paper right for 2020. So what I want to do with the community is introduce y'all to six steps and tools that I've been using for over 10 years now just to make sure that I'm up on my money habits, pretty much. So let me tell you how I first even got started with this. About 10 years ago, yes, 10 years ago, I feel kind of old when I say stuff like that now because I like to think I'm young, you know. But 10 years ago, a little bit over that, my grandma gave me a book and it was called From the Trash Man to the Cash Man. Yes, honey, this man went from a trash man to a millionaire. And I read that book and I implemented some of the tools in that book. And ever since then, those tools have helped me from a financial perspective. And I want to share them with you, right? So let's start with the very first one. So the mentality that I want you to get into is like you have a can. Literally, think about like a paint can. When I think of it, I think of like just a silver can, right? And what we're going to be doing is we're going to be putting little bits of money into each of the cans I talk about, right? So the very first can I'm going to talk about is the I Can Tithe can. The I Can Tithe can is where you get 10% of your paycheck and you give that 10% and you put it in the I Can Tithe can and you give that to tithes at your church, right? So that 10% is basically saying, look, God, I thank you for my job. I thank you for the energy that you give me to go to my job and every single thing that I have, it's yours anyway. So I'm going to honor you and give you my first fruit with that first 10%. Now, if you don't believe in giving your money to the church or maybe you don't believe in God even, you can always give it to a charitable organization. I think it's two different things though. So I give 10% to tithe, simply put, right? So that's your first can, which is the I can tithe can, right? Let's go ahead and jump into the second can. Your second can is the I can finish free can. What's that all about, right? So your I Can Finish Free Can is all going to be about passive income. You're also going to put 10% of your paycheck or of your income into the I Can Finish Free Can. So what that means is that once that builds up, you're able to invest and that investment is going to create some passive income for you. So I want you to think of you putting 10% every time you have income or every time you get a paycheck into the I Can Finish Free Can. And let's say eventually that boy, that bad boy gets to be $300,000, right? With that $300,000, you go and buy yourself a laundromat or a car wash and you make $400,000 from that, right? Well, because you saved $300,000 and that was your investment and you've made $400,000, which $100,000 would be your profit, then that basically means that you can spend your profit, but you never spend that $300,000. Even if you sell that business, whatever you get over $300,000, that's your profit. You do with it what you want. But that original $300,000 that you save, you keep that money, okay? And you keep stacking and you keep putting 10% of all your income on top of that money. So the next time you invest, you can invest a little bit more. Make sense? So your I can tithe can, I can finish free can. Now, your very next can is going to be I can educate myself can. Education is so important. And when I say education is so important i don't want you to always jump to oh going to college or going to school the i can educate myself can is all about personal and professional development about you being able to look feel and think your best 
from a mental perspective, right? And all of that is gathered into the I can educate myself can. So if you want to go to conferences, if you want to go to seminars, if you want to go to any type of classes, whether that is um, higher education or, or uh, continuing education, whatever it might be, that's going to be in the I can educate myself can. That can be even going to Barnes and Noble and getting a book, something like that. So you got to put 10% of every paycheck into the I can educate myself uh, can and make sure you invest it back into yourself. Okay. Now, your next can is we've been doing all this talking about tithing about creating passive income and then about educating yourself so your very next can is i can save for what i want now why is saving so important it's because oftentimes we'll go out we'll make sporadic purchases and if we're not budgeting we're making sporadic pur purchases and it lives uh leaves us living kind of cramped when it comes to our finances right so the i can save for what i want can is not necessary that you put 10 percent in there but you can put 10 percent of every paycheck in there if you choose to but this is saving for things like if you want to go on a vacation or if you want a new car or if you want to buy a house or if you want to make some type of big purchase you always have a can for i can save for what i want okay all right cool so now the next can which is like a great can it's the i can have fun can now there's one stipulation on this can and the stipulation on this can is that whatever you put into this can every month you got to make sure that you use it every month too right so however much money you put in there you must use it to the last drop there must not be anything left in the can at all and you use that can on whatever you consider to be um, fun that can be going out with family that can be going out with friends that can be getting a massage that can be getting your hair done that can be anything that's outside of um your normal pretty much but it's having fun it's treating yourself because if you're developing a healthy habit of saving, of investing, of giving, of being generous, of all of this stuff, you also have to treat yourself, right? Okay, now let's jump to the very last can, which is the sixth can. That can is called, I can pay my bills can, honey, okay? I can pay my bills. So in the I can pay my bills can, Basically, it means that everything that goes into the, your can of I can pay my bills is what you pay your mortgage with, is what is what you pay your rent with and all of the bills, whether that's renter's insurance, mortgage insurance, um, or homeowner's insurance. Um, it's what you're going to pay your light bill with, your car note with, and everything that is considered a bill, that's what goes into that can. Now, I know what you're thinking. After you put 10% in I can tithe, after you put another 10% in that I can finish free and another 10% in I can educate myself and doing all this other stuff, you're like, well, I don't have that much left to pay my bills. Well, if you find yourself in that situation, you might have to realign exactly what your bills are or rethink what you're spending your bill money on. So you want to set it up where you can still have some left over and where you're not pinching or living paycheck to paycheck. And that's the whole goal of this. Guys, I really hope that you found these six cans that I talked about really helpful. I hope that you can implement them into your, um, just into your financial literature into your mantra and what you guys practice let me know how it goes once you implement it it's been going really well for me shout out to my mama thank you grandma for uh giving me that book and teaching me that but i hope it does something for you guys as well of course i want the best for y'all love you